a game dev secret about memory. I was reading comments on my video about persistence keys, and there were people concerned about how much memory I was using by storing the location of every defeated enemy in my persistence key system. And that's a completely fair concern, so let's test it and see just how much memory we're actually using. We'll do this test by simulating Isadora defeating one enemy per second, and when each enemy is defeated, we'll store one key in memory. And the whole time, we'll monitor how much memory we're actually using. And as you can see, it's not moving at all, so let's bump it up to 10 enemies per second and start over. And okay, that's still not moving, but what if we wanted to store more keys? about each defeated enemy, like their name, their color palette, what items they dropped. Let's just arbitrarily say we're going to store 12 keys per defeated enemy, which is a lot. And let's do 20 enemies per second instead of 10. And with that, okay, at least the memory number is moving, but only barely. So let's go extreme. Hollow Knight has 164 enemies, including bosses. So let's simulate defeating every enemy from Hollow Knight once per second, and let's store 50 keys per enemy. And now we're actually using some memory. If we defeat every enemy in Hollow Knight once per second and store 50 different pieces of data in memory for each and every one of those defeated enemies, after a minute straight of that, we'll have defeated nearly 10,000 enemies and store just about half a million keys. And it takes up just about 20 megabytes. So unless I wanted to release Isadora's Edge on the Nintendo 64, I think it's gonna be fine.